First of all, thank the mercy of God, great virtue of holy teachers, kindness of transmitters, lectures, and all of you for me to share this topic, holy teacher scriptures, 10 years. Uh, last time we went to the, we are in the page, so finish page 13. Uh, we like to, I would like to quickly review because this top, this scripture is very, very uh, important for us uh, during the cultivation and publication period. So holy teacher try to keep asking us questions. So we need to use these scriptures to help us uh, to improve our cultivation and publication. So first of all, holy teacher asks, I'm gonna use take a few minutes to review quickly. Holy teacher asks, is our is Tao still true after those years? Is the Tao principle still true after 10 years, even five years, 10 years, 20 years? Is heaven's mandate still true? So all those that we should take this opportunity to, our, to ask ourselves those questions, okay? And then Holy Teacher asked, the channeling of the sense of Buddha is still true or not? So keep remind ourselves. So those kind of questions we should ask us regularly. And the heart of Tao cultivation is still true for ourselves. It's our vow to propagate Tao is still true, okay? So those questions we need to ask our, ourselves. I think the lecture will send the document to us. So we should review it regularly. That will help us to improve our cultivation. What the teacher said that, uh, do we feel the bond between us and other cultivators are still true? The other important things, holy teacher asks us, the affinity between holy teacher and us is still true. So I think, Right, we are so lucky to have a holy teacher next to us. And holy teacher asks us, our Tao heart still exists until today. Are we still pretty determined to cultivate at this moment? Okay. And then are we still very pure, same pureness? from the day one until today. Do we still have that? Do we, do we still have that? Then, do we still understanding Tao and work progressively? Holy teacher asks us all those questions. We should ask ourselves the question holy teacher asking us. And holy teacher also asks us, when we do, when we manage and propagate Tao affairs for certain area, do we always conform with Tao principle, core Tao principles, okay? And then do we go out to propagate Tao uh, to encourage sentient being? And we ignore, ignore our own practice. This is probably one of the important things. Don't forget our own practice. Even we go out to bring people to receive Tao, we need to also focus Concentrate, concentrate on our own folk critics of cultivations. Okay. We, I just quick review that because we those are very important questions. Holy teacher keep remind us all the time. So we need to put in our heart, in our mind, remind ourselves all the time. Holy teacher us, have we raised ourselves to different level after those years since day one? Are we getting better? Are we improved? So Holy Teacher ask all of us those questions. And the Holy Teacher also ask, also ask us, have we applied that principle, what we learn to our daily lives? Have we done that? So because we can apply those, what we learn every day, little philosophy, little Tao principle to apply to daily life. Okay? Next one, probably also one of the important things, can we cultivate from the emotional temper? I, I know every one of us have temper because 60,000 years we have it reincarnate. We have emotional temper. Have we cultivate to try to get rid of emotional temper to Tao energy, very positive and very pure energy. 
because every time we got this, no matter what thing, what any things or any people uh, we are facing every day, we facing challenge and difficulty. Are we able to stay calm, stay positive, do not do not lose our temper and composure? Okay, are we not get? Are we control our tempers? That's probably the one of the most important things during the cultivation period because we don't want to lose ourselves. Because once we have a emotional temper come out, we we lose a lot of merits. So we need to be careful. The other thing also very very important. Uh, in daily life, we're going to see a lot of people. We're going to facing different kinds of things and different kind of, different kind of challenges, difficulties every day. But don't like or dislike the things of people. Okay, always treat them equally. Treat them like a Buddha because we are Buddha reform. Don't forget, treat everything equally. When things comes or people comes, we deal with them. When they are done, we let them. We let them go. We let them go. Don't create like or dislike situation for us because they will create karma. They will create karma. We create like or dislike, then we will create karma. But Buddha tried to remind us during the cultivation period, we need to control that. Okay? So just keep everybody the same, treat everybody equally, treat everybody like Buddha. Okay? So that's why we need to, to do that. We need to maintain it. Have we cultivate? From the complaint to appreciation, holy teacher asks us, have we called it from complaint to appreciation? Have we called it from unkindness to humanity or to compassion? So loving kindness. So like a Buddha. Okay, have we changed it? Are we getting better? Okay. Have we called it from pessimism to optimism? That's very important. Everything, think about positive, think about pure, think about, don't think about negative stuff. Every day, every day, very important. Stay positive, okay? And then have we cultivate from stubborn, stubborn, stubbornness to rejoice. So that's very important, especially we all have a lot of attachment. We need to change to rejoice. Rejoice means very happy. If some people doing very well, we are happy for them. Have we? Cultivate from selfishness to generous giving. Become like a Buddha, always giving. We are not asking people to give to us. We want to give to others. Okay? And we always show the mercy out in our daily life. Okay? So, Holy Teacher wants us to do that. And the Holy Teacher always asks us, no matter what we face, everything so smoothly running smoothly in our daily life. Or every something else is facing difficulty, challenges, misfortunes, and others. Okay, are we continue to cultivate? Or we say, we will take a break. We don't want to cultivate. Okay, so that's very, very important. Stay the same every day. No matter what we, if things are going very well for us, or things are, or we face difficulties, we still need to maintain to cultivate. Okay. Even we are facing the tests and trials, because the reason we are facing the tests and trials, we are called to God and Buddha recognize us as a candidate, as a Buddha or saint. Means we are qualified. That's why they give us some tests or trials. So don't feel bad. Sometimes we are facing difficulty and challenge because God and Buddha thinking we can do it. They want to test which level we are in or of the cultivations. So don't feel upset. Sometimes something happened to us because that's, uh, those are the tests from the heaven. Especially we have experienced, we are facing the financial hardship uh, as cultivators. And then Holy Teacher want us the more we cultivate, we will forgive about, forget about ourselves. We only think about sentient beings. We only think about sentient beings, like all the grand predecessor and predecessors. They all think about sentient beings. They, not, they never thought about themselves. So we're willing to give, we're willing to give, okay? 
the other things, what the teacher asked us, have we applied Tao principles to our daily life during the cultivation and application period? Have we applied the Tao principles? This is very important. What we learn, a little thing, even just one point, two points, each time we learn, have we applied? Like we get rid of all the bad temper, get rid of all the bad habits, okay? And then get along with others very well. So those little things we need to learn together, okay? And have we start to focus more on holy affairs over maintained affairs, okay? Because we are all Buddha reborn. We are all saints and Buddha from heaven. So we have a lot of holy mission in ourselves. Sometimes we forgot. So holy teacher just try to remind all of us, remind all of us, okay? Yeah, sometimes we are so busy on daily life, on mundane affairs, but don't forget we are the Buddha. Yeah, the other thing holy teacher remind us, we need to uh, take action to donate the money or Holy teaching or others to all the sentient beings, whoever, whoever need it. Okay. And then holy teacher also ask, also ask us, are we very consistent uh, in conforming to pure word and also plant based diet? Then what that means means whatever we say, whatever we do, always consistent. And we also try to uh, conform the plant-based diet, it can be a vegetarian, try to eat the vegetarian food as much as we can, if we are not making a vegetarian vow yet. So try to be a vegetarian one day. And Holy Teacher asks us, are we always hold the golden thread uh, to the enlightened Holy Teachers, okay? And are we always According to the vow we have made in the heaven and make in this world, we make a lot of vow. We don't remember. Yeah, holy teacher can give us a long list. The vow we make in the heaven. Okay. And whatever we do, are we according to the standard concept of the Tao? We according to what majority of the Tao temples. And then the other thing, holy teacher asks us, are we sincere enough according to loyalty, verticality, and humanity and righteousness? Yeah. So God and Buddha are watching us every moment, every day. Okay, we don't sometimes we, we go out, we do things, we think nobody sees it, but God and Buddha, they are next to us every day, every day. So every moment. And then the other thing, holy teachers say, we don't want to consider which responsibility is suitable for us. Okay, we don't want to choose the env which environment is, is good for us to cultivate, or which leader is good for us to follow. We just follow the Tao Center, Tao Affairs Center, and the environment we have in to cultivate. Don't worry about the other stuff. Okay, and we don't want to keep gossiping. gossiping we don't want to put gossip others, okay? We don't worry about those kind of stuff. We concentrate on ourselves to improve ourselves only. The other things, holy teacher want us to accommodate with the heaven's time at this moment, because we are very lucky. The open publication of the universal salvation of three realms, okay? So we can save all the sentient beings at this moment. We have to accommodate with current time and situation because Tao is available for all the sentient beings at this moment. So we have to accommodate with all the sentient beings, okay? But with a general approach, gentle approach, okay? Adjust to individual's needs. Adjust to individual needs. We cannot use the same way to try to bring people to receive Tao. Everybody is different. So we have to adjust ourselves based on their background, potentials, and abilities.
And Holy Teacher said that sometimes we cultivate and propagate down. Sometimes we continue, sometimes we move forward, and the other time we move backward. So it's kind of no movement at all, no improve at all. So this is probably every time Holy Teacher comes, he always asks the same question for all of us. Have we improved, okay? The other thing Holy Teacher is asking, do we continue to have half merits and half demerits? So we, we accumulate some merits. In the meantime, we make some mistake. Break, we break the rules of temporal regulation. So we lost the merits. We don't want to do that, okay? So we have to be careful for that. And next one is, Holy Teacher asks us, do we continue to complain this and complain that? I hope we are not, okay? Yeah, be happy and then uh, be positive to cultivate. Do we continue to gossip? Holy Teacher keep asking us. This is very important because teacher don't want to, Holy Teacher do not want us to do that. Holy Teacher doesn't want us to do that, to gossip others. Concentrate on ourselves, how to reflect ourselves, how to improve ourselves, very important. Holy Teacher is talking about do we continue to pass day in and day out? Means just fooling around. We don't really seriously about cultivation and propagation. So we don't want to be like that. Okay. So we want to continue to progress in our our cultivation and propagation journey. Yeah. yeah Holy Teacher will also want us to be have faith, have confidence on cultivation, trust. Heaven, trust Buddha and trust Tao, okay? Don't lose that confidence. And Holy Teacher, do we continue to be stubborn? Have so much attachment, especially on the material stuff. Sometimes we have too much attachments. You gotta think about, we come to this life, we, do it, we didn't bring all the stuff with us. When we leave this world, when we go, when we go one day, we will not be able to bring all the material stuff with us. We only can bring the merits, virtues, and karmas with ourselves to go back. Hopefully that, at that day, our merits is much more than our bad karmas, okay? That's where we are last, last two classes. I just quick review for every, everyone. So we can continue here on page 14. All the teacher talk about it, We need to realize heavenly time and we should propagate because we can, at this moment, we can bring people to receive down to save their spirits. Sometimes we try to save people's physical body. That's good, that's important. But in the meantime, physical body is only for this lifetime, but this, the spirits is for forever. It's, it will not die. Okay, we all, we all know our true nature will not die. Even we, Physical body could be gone one day, but our Buddha nature will not be gone. We need to realize this is a thought cycle phase. We need to propagate quickly. We need to cherish the moment to cultivate and propagate. Don't, when time comes, this is the moment we need to concentrate and focus on cultivation and propagation. Okay, bring the people who has affinity with Tao to receive Tao and to cultivate, cultivate and propagate with all of us together. So that's our mission. That's our Buddha mission together. Don't forget, okay? Because Buddha can, Buddha already, sends and Buddha, they already come, okay? Then they cannot, they only can uh, through channeling or send writing to talk to all of us. But in the meantime, they want us to go out to spread the Tao widely to all the people who have affinities with, with Tao. So that's why you can see, Holy Chiyo ask a lot of questions here and also keep a lot of important hints and points here. We need, that's why I've tried to review it. So sometimes after two weeks, the two months, because these last two classes is already uh, two months, we might forget some items. I just want to, remind all of us together, include myself, okay? So Holy Teacher wants us to look at ourselves. Say, tell us, we can propagate. 
look at Sen Xinping, okay, we will, be, we will be bored to propagate because we know they are suffering. They cannot avoid the reincarnation of the bitter seed. So we need to save them. We need to save them. They are our brothers and sisters. Okay, not just this lifetime, could be in previous life. We need to go out to save all the sentient beings. So that's why when Buddha see all of us, they treat us like a Buddha. Human being, when we see someone else, we will see this is male, female, elderly, or young kids, okay, or young people. We only see the difference on the individuals. But Buddha see everyone is the same. They are all Buddha. They only see their Buddha nature. They don't see, human beings see differently. We see the forms, okay? That's different. But Buddha see individual has, is a Buddha reborn there. So Buddha treat everybody equally. Human beings, we may not do that. So we need to learn from Buddha on this area. And the Holy Teacher say also become aware of Tao principle in cultivation and propagation. Always apply what we learn. Just even one point a day. Yeah, today, okay, we say we're going to get rid of all the bad tempers, bad habits from now on, and we will concentrate on the item. Okay, or we say I, we don't want to create a like or dislike situation from now on when we're facing the people or matters. We will come, we will stay calm, stay positive to deal with them. So, those kind of stuff we will learn. We are applied to our daily life every day. Okay. Holy teacher wants us also look into the karmic affinity and work together. The reason we are all together in this class, we are all together in this class, not because this lifetime we are together. We were together in previous lives, many, many lives ago. We are all talk together. We are all together. We were all together with holy teachers. Holy teacher, we say we want to come to this lifetime to shoulder the mission with our holy teacher and shoulder the mission together for all of us together. We want to work together. So it's a lot of good affinity to come together. It's not come, we come a long way to get here. So look at the predecessor or grand predecessor. We learn to propagate the Tao from them. Okay, we have a grand missions to propagate together. Okay, so we we had a lot of big mission together. If we continue to do what we are doing, what we're supposed to do, we will be there one day. Okay, we will have a position in heaven one day. And then if we say, okay, one day we are we are in heaven, we want to make, make a big vow to calm down again to help the sentient being. We can we can choose where we want to reborn. We can choose which family we want to reborn. We can choose what kind of situation we want to reform. So that's a Buddha vow can do it. But a lot of us come down, came down before, not because our big vow there, because our karma forced us to come down to this world. So we want to become a Buddha so we can do what we want to do to help sentient beings. That's a big difference there. Okay. Next one, holy teacher. Uh, mentioned a few po main points here, so everybody should uh, pay attention to that. One can follow one's mind or wish in handling personal affairs. So we're handling personal individual stuff, but one must be adaptable and peaceful in managing Tao affairs. That's very important. When we take, take care of the personal stuff, we can follow our own individual wish or mindset or decision. However, when we deal with our affairs, we need to be more adaptable, more flexible, and more peaceful to, to accommodate others. That's very important. Sometimes very hard, but we need to do that. Okay. Next one is, holy teacher said, one can keep one's own way in handling personal matters. Holy teacher keep in my eyes, but we one must respect the elders and what is in managing Tao affairs. That's very important with the temporal regulation. Next one. 
one can insist on one's own view in handling personal, personal matters, but one must communicate and be encouraging in managing the affairs. So we might, when we deal with style affairs, we, what do we have to do? We must communicate and be encouraging in others, okay? So that's a little different. When we take care of our personal stuff, we can make our own decision. We can do our own way. But when we deal with our affairs, we deal with sentient being, we deal with our matters in the temple. We need to be, we need, must communicate, and be encouraging to, uh, in others, to others. So the Holy Teacher just give us uh, some area we could make a mistake. We could be too stubborn. So Holy Teacher was worried, is worried about those areas. That's why he, keep, he keeps reminding all of us about those areas. So one must take in charge alone when handling personal stuff. The Holy Teacher, first sentence always talk about personal stuff. But second sentence talk about one must engage broad leadership to share responsibility all together in managing our affairs. What did teacher talk about? When we deal with more than one item, we need to don't forget to share responsibilities all together in managing our affairs or our matters. Okay, so we all share together the responsibility. We don't make decisions by ourselves. We follow the majority. So majority make a decision together, then we will follow that majority decision. Okay, not just our own. Okay, if we our own personal stuff, yes, we can do that. But if it's the temple affairs, we cannot make our make one decision by, by ourselves only. We need to follow, see other people's feedback. We need to listen to others. Okay, so that's very important concept. Okay, it's not alone on, anymore. We are in, in the majority responsibility. We follow the majority's direction. Next one, Holy Teacher talk about a few items which we need to, uh, to learn. To be successful, succeed in the dark journey, we must accumulate enough experience. So those, I know, so some of you have come a long way to get here. Because it come to learn the Tao principles, it, take, take, it takes time to get there. But we need to accumulate enough experience. If we don't understand, we always, and ask others. There's no stupid question. Okay, don't feel bad. I say, if I ask this question, is that too stupid? No, there's no stupid question. We can ask any questions. Lectures, transmitters, temple hosts may not know it. That's fine. They, they can ask seniors for that. Or ask, down the road, we can ask holy teacher or Buddhas for that. But we can always can ask questions. I did remember when I came to temple in the beginning, I always have a lot of questions, always uh, have some, something to ask. But I was off. I was so afraid to ask because I was worried people may not like it. But I would say so. Don't forget, don't feel bad to ask questions. Okay? Don't be, uh, sometimes we have a question we hold in our inside. That's not a good situation. We have questions we can ask, okay? Holy teacher wants us to keep a change, changeless Tao mind. One must accumulate Tao learning. So until the moment we will not change our Tao mind, we must accumulate a lot of, we must build a lot of foundation in ourselves. So we, at the moment, we will continue to cultivate and propagate. Because you can, you're gonna see some people during this down journey. Some people stay, some people leave. So we want to continue, continue to, to cultivate and propagate down. Because in this lifetime, we are very fortunate. Sometimes all the teachers keep remind us, Buddha keep remind us. We are the very small fortune group in the whole world. In the whole world. Only how many people can receive down? How many people can cultivate and propagate down together? Not many. Percentage is so low, so low. But we come a long way. We have been cultivated 
so many lifetimes before this life. We have been cultivated so many lifetimes before this life. To receive Tao, we it take three lifetimes, at least three cultivation of three lifetimes. But to join a class, at least Dharma class is five lifetimes, at least. But today we are joined the cultivation and publication journey. It take more than five lifetimes to get here. So it come a long way. Don't let this, let's cherish this opportunity. Don't let this go because we can avoid the reincarnation. We can avoid the reincarnation of birth, death, and rebirth. We can become a Buddha of sense. We can come down again if we want to one day, but because we are the Buddha reborn, not because we come, we, we come down this world because our karma again. So holy teacher tried to push us, try to encourage us. That's why you can see holy teacher talk about a lot of concept and principle question here. So that's what I, I think very important for us. Review ourselves regularly, review those items regularly. Okay. Holy teacher said to be an everlasting Tao model, role models, one must accumulate that accumulate virtues. This is what probably one of the important items, virtues. How do we build our virtues? Okay, how do we accumulate our virtue? Always very humble, no matter which position we are in. We could be the staff member, we could be the lecturers or speakers or vice temple hosts or temple hosts or transmitters. Always stay humble, always stay humble. Very important, always treat everyone equally. Always treat everyone equally. There's no difference because we got to treat everyone as a Buddha. Everyone come to the temple or everyone we face every daily life. They are all Buddha reborn. We treat everyone as a Buddha. We will, we will be very happy to see them every day. Okay. So we start to build the virtues. Whatever we say, whatever we do, always based on our conscience, always based on our true nature. Okay, let our two nature reveal. So it's to build a virtues. Okay. To have Tao stable Tao community, we must accumulate the energies and spirits of everyone. We need everyone to contribute, need everyone to, enjoy, to join together, to help together. So that's very important Tao community. Yeah, for example, like Ohio is building the big temple. We're gonna need a lot of people to come to help, to join together, to build the energy and spirits of Tao Temple. So, congratulations, congratulations to Ohio Tao community. So that's a big event for all of us. So we need to help each other to to join, to join them. The other things, okay, the only teacher trying to remind us. 10 years have passed, disciples, all of us, you know to only clean our hands. We clean our hands, but we do not know to purify our minds. So the, the key is every daily life, we try to clean the hands on our side. But the only teacher talk about, we need to purify our mind inside. That's, as cultivators, is very, very important, always very pure, always very pure, always, we do not have, uh, in our mind, in our heart, always very pure, very positive, very important, as purify, to purify our mind, okay? That's one area we need to, when we have not, every day, when we have little time, Holy Teacher want us to, pray, to practice, get rid of all the affinities, do not raise a single thought, exercise every day. Holy teacher want us to do one hour a day. I know it's not easy, it's not easy, but as long as we have five seconds, 10 seconds, practice, sit down there, stand there, or whatever we do, or lie down there, we can practice, get rid of all the affinities, do not raise a single thought, okay? Practice this exercise. That's the first period we practice. The next period, we have to extend our true nature. 
our Buddha nature to outside. When you see two people are talking to each other, we can extend our true nature to that area, to that location, but don't get into the content of their conversation. We can extend our true nature to that area, but don't get into the content the, their, of their com conversations. So that's the second period we need to work on. So first period is get rid of all the affinities, do not raise a single thought. Second period is extend our true nature to that area, do not get into the content of their conversation. So we need to do step by step. To, all the teachers try to teach us, Buddha try to teach us how to become saints and Buddha again. Are we willing? Do we want to be a Buddha? It's, it, it depends on all of us. It depends on each other, each one of us. So just follow the step what holy teacher and Buddha taught us, okay? Next one, okay. Holy teacher said, it had been 10 years past, have passed. However, disciples, we only know to perform the arrival priorities, but we do not know to return home. Where is our home? Where is our original home? Where do we come from? Where do we come from originally? We came from heaven, right? We make a vow to come down to, to come down to save Saint Jinping, but we don't know how to go back anymore. We have holy teacher and Buddhas are talking to us. We have been we, we, we have reincarnated more than 60,000 years already. But we don't know how to go back. Nobody knows how to back, go back until we receive Tao. And then Buddha opened our the gate of false treasuries. Okay? So now we know the three treasures and we know how to go back. But we need to bring more people to receive Tao. Okay? So they can go back with all of us, especially our loved ones, our relatives, co workers, colleagues, parents, or children, or, our, or whoever has have affinities with Buddha, bring them together, go with us. How did teacher talk about it? 10 years have passed, disciples. We only know to assembly offering ceremony, but we do not know putting good order. What does that mean? <clears throat> and remember there's one temple host, Miss Lee. She had uh, in young eyes. She can see all the stuff in the temple. And she can see the saints and Buddha around all of us. She even can see the heaven and, and the, see the heaven and hell. She can see everything there. But she came to the temple, she always said, when we have a Offering ceremony, we are walking around. As he, she said, uh, sometimes we hit uh, the saints and Buddha next to us. We don't even know. She can see it. She can see it. So she told us in the class that she can see we are all walking around. We didn't even know Buddha are around us. We even hit them. We don't even know. So during the open offering ceremony, we need this stood there and be, and be careful there. So sometimes we didn't know that how serious our this on Buddha and saints are coming down with all of us. When people receiving Tao, often we have offering ceremonies. So she can see all of us, but we couldn't see, unfortunately, we couldn't see, good or bad, but we couldn't see, okay? Holy teacher said that 10 years have, have passed, disciples. He said, we only know to conducting ceremony, but we do not know the dignity of, that's what it means. All the Buddha saints are in a ceremony, but we couldn't see them. So we didn't feel dignity. We do not know dignity of that. So we need to learn from this moment. We need to take seriously. When we people receiving Tao ceremony, or when we do the offering ceremony or other ceremonies, we need to be silent. We need to be stated stay in location, we're not moving around. When we go to church, you can see a church always, you can see the dignity, once you walk in, you can see the dignity of it, of churches. Very quiet and people are very peaceful. We need to do the same thing in the temple, okay? We need to do the same thing in the temple, okay? Saints of Buddha are always there. All the generals are there too, from the heaven, okay? Sometimes we did not see them. 
we have to be careful of that. Yeah. So those are temple regulations. Sometimes transmitters, lectures, and temple hosts did not require us because they are so kind. They don't want to put a rule on all of us. But in the meantime, we sometimes we made a mistake. We don't even know. And we have to be careful. Ten years had passed. Disciple, you only know to inspire your mind, but you do not know to have hard working mind. So the holy teacher talked about we may not have a hard working mind. At one time there was a summer class in California. So holy teacher talked to two lecturers. Say you only for all of you, both of you only use twenty to thirty percent of your potentials. You have more than seventy percent of potential you haven't used. So what does that mean? It means all of us, all of us always can do better. All of us can improve. All of us can work harder. So sometimes teacher can see that, see our potential, but we do not use our potential yet. We do not use our full potential yet. So we need to do. We can do better. Okay, that's what teacher was trying to remind us. Ten years has passed. Disciples. You know only to cultivate Tao, but you do not know to protect the Tao, to protect the temple. Okay, so this is a very important concept here. We only knew to cultivate for ourselves, but we forgot to protect or support the Tao temple or support the Tao. If somebody do something to hurt the Tao or to hurt the temple, uh, we will help uh, to protect temple and protect Tao communities. So that's very important. Because sometimes individually men do that to the Tao or temple. We need to come out to protect Tao and temple. So we need to remember that. Okay. Only teacher said that 10 years have passed. Disciples, you, you only know to what? To take charge, but you do not know to make sacrifice. Okay, we only need to take charge to help all this. Tao affairs, but we do not make enough sacrifice. What does that mean? To sacrifice means all the saints and Buddha, all the grand and grand predecessors and predecessors. They only think about Saint Shimping. They did not think about themselves. They did not think about themselves. That grand predecessors and predecessors came from, Ch from China to bring the Tao to Taiwan. And our senior gene transmitters family bring the Tao from Taiwan to USA. So they make all those people, they make a lot of sacrifice just because they came here or they went to Taiwan, try to save all the sentient beings. So that's why the sacrifice they make. But we need to make more sacrifice for all the sentient beings because we are the Buddha. We need to do the same thing, okay? And that's holy teacher means, means. 10 years have passed. Holy teacher asked us, Disciples, you only know to, to be mess, merciful, but you do not know to rejoice and give. Okay. Sometimes we are kind, but we do not know rejoice. Rejoice means when some people are doing so well, people are, have, are doing successful, successfully. We are happy for them. We are happy for them. Okay, like we are doing a good, good job. Okay. We are happy for them. The other thing is to give. We always waiting to give to help the sentient being. Because look around the whole world today. Look around the whole world today. America is still in USA, we're still pretty lucky, uh, fortunate place to be here. But not everybody like take take a vaccine for the COVID-19. Not every other country has vaccine available. Not every other country has vaccine available. So they look. This country, we have a lot of resources and ability to do that. But look at whole, around the whole world, so many people, so many sentient beings are suffering. We do not see that. We do not see that. Okay. So we need waiting to give more to all these sentient beings, like Buddha give. Okay. A few items the Holy Teacher want us to do. We must know the Tao missions we should undertake. Okay, we all have a mission to take, each one of us, each one of us. 
can all have mission. We all, each one of us, have a mandate. Different people have a different mandate. Transmission transmitter has transmitting masters has transmission master mandate. Lectures, temple hosts, and also some members and every one of individuals individuals also have mandates so, but different mandates different responsibilities so we need to do our job that's it don't worry about the positions just do our job okay when we go back to heaven when we go back to heaven the position the the guy is going to give to us not because not be not according to the position we have today in the temple no no be careful okay it's not according to the position we have today in the temple. It's not true. It's depend on our when we go back to the temple, the heaven. It depend on our merits, virtues, and all our karmas will decide our position in heaven. So it's not depend on our position in the temple today. So we need to know that. Second, our affair this should be spread broadly must be widely known. So we need to bring the doubt. We need to spread the doubt to all the people, all the sentient beings there who need it. We need to bring out the doubt out. We need to go to pe people, our friends, relatives, colleagues, loved ones, to let them know doubt is available today. But sometimes we don't need to tell them when we see the people in first time, we don't need to talk about the doubt. We, need want, we want to become their friends first. We want to become their good friends first. Yeah. It takes many, many months, many years to become a good friend. Then we can, once they trust us, we can introduce, we know them well, then we can bring the doubt to them. We can introduce the doubt to them. We don't need to do the first time when we see them, okay? We don't have to do that. Because sometimes it may not have a positive effect if we do that the first time. When we see the people, we talk about doubt. In, and the other thing is, we need to learn to be a good listener. We need to learn to be a good listener. So every time we go to visit people, to introduce a Tao, we keep talking. We don't let them talk. We got we to gotta change that. When we go to visit people, we let them talk. Let them take, talk more. We can learn, we can listen to know what they need, what they want, okay? Because all days i make the same mistake too we talk a lot but you know what that's not good effect a good result we need to listen more to other people's need to know what they want okay then we can take action item after that okay so sometimes may not be good first time to talk about that be their friend first be their friends first okay What did you talk about the third one? One must get to know the footsteps they should not follow. So we need to step by step to get there, especially cultivation and propagation. We need to get step by step, okay, to know the footsteps, okay? That's why we have those kind of class uh, on Sunday and uh, also Friday night. We try to learn a lot of principles, our philosophies, so we can apply to daily life, so we can follow cultivation and propagation step by step on each day. What do you teach also talk about number four? The directions we should return to must be known completely. Where are we going from here? Where are we going from here? We must know completely. Okay. So we want to bring where do we want to bring all the sentient beings to? We don't want to bring them Work in the dark. Yeah. So we have a mission. We know where we want to go to. So yeah. eventually we want to bring them to the return home, our original home. That's the heaven. But in the meantime, we need to go step by step in the right direction. Okay. In the right direction. Disciples, Holy Teacher said, Disciples, how can you not know and feel as you walk on the path of doubt, cultivation, and propagation? Sometimes 
we are walking the Tao cultivation journey, and we do not even know what we what we are doing. That's why Holy Teacher came. We are walking, and people ask us to do something. We we just do it, but we don't know this is Tao journey at all. And how can we have partially understand of the refuge of for the path of the true nature? Means we do not fully understand the true nature, the Buddha nature, and we just call them it. So we do not have fully understanding, full understanding of about our true nature. So those take time to get there. So the most important thing as a cultivator, we need to know we have a Buddha nature. We have a Buddha, sometimes we call Buddha nature, sometimes we call true nature, sometimes call true self, call different, there are different names, that's fine. But this talk about the same thing. Our physical body will die one day, will be gone one day. But our true nature will not die. True nature is, yeah. True nature will not die. The psychic like spirit, which will not die, okay? True nature will not die. What's the difference between true nature and, and, and the spirit? Okay, true nature is very pure, very innocent. And our our spirits, which still have attachment, a lot of attachment, a lot of desires, okay, like fame, power, wealth, and other stuff. But true nature is very pure, very innocent, okay? Yeah. So that's a little different. So we need to get rid of all those attachment, desires, and to return to the true nature, okay? So because our original spirits have those impureness so we need to get rid of all the attachments desires and others to go back to with our true nature so we will we need to let our true nature reveal okay uh, this those are the statement very important the following statement very important how did you talk about it how much a karmic affinity must come together before establishing the foundation of cow cultivation? That means we come a long way in order for us to talk, do the Tao cultivation. We have to accumulate enough karmic affinity with Buddha and with Tao. That's why we can come together to cultivate. So it's, it's, we have a lot of foundation from previous years. That's why we can do this, this, this lifetime. So we are very fortunate and lucky group, okay? And Holy Teacher said, how much foundation accumulations must happen before the opportunity is given? Before we have opportunity to cover, cultivate and propagate out, we have a lot of foundation there in previous life. Okay? So we, we, we don't come, we come a long way to get here. Yeah, we are not just come by accident to get here. We come a long way to get to where we are today. And Holy Teacher said, how much cherishing of the opportunity must take place before they can get engaged, involved, or involved in cultivation? Means until we have, today we are get involved in the cultivation. We have a lot of, we, we did so many good things in previous life. That's why we have opportunity to, to involve in cultivation and propagation of Tao today. So we, we are very fortunate, lucky group. We need to continue to maintain that. Okay. Holy teacher talk about how much we must engage ourselves before we have participate all positions in the Tao community. So we come a long way. That's why we are here today as a staff member, always a Tao members, or as a lecturers or host. Okay. So we must dedicate, engage enough to be here today, okay? So Holy Teacher always keep remind all of us about all stuff. Next one is, Holy Teacher said, how many trials, tests must we experience before we realize? So a lot of tests, a lot of trials, a lot of struggle, 
a lot of difficulty come. We experience, we have experienced before we are here today. So those stuff, those tests only come to test us to make sure we are the candidate of the sense of Buddhas. Okay. So every daily life, in the daily life, sometimes we are facing challenges, trials, difficulties, financial hardship, because heaven and Buddhas think we are qualified to accept the tests because we are the candidates of the saints and Buddha. That's why they give us, they give us tests. If we, don't, if, they, if we are not qualified, they will not give us those tests. They will not give us those trials. So though we are very fortunate to have this opportunity to be tested by the heaven and Buddha, okay? How much they must realize be touched upon before they can become eh, motivated or inspired? It's a bit, before we can, we are motivated, before we are, we determined, we are determined to cultivate, to probably, we, we were touched before by the Buddha, by the God, by the others. That's why we are here today, to cultivate and publicly that, right? Holy teacher said, how much inspiration must go into the cultivation and propagation before they can uphold the Tao spirits. So we can uphold Tao spirits. We come a long way because so much inspiration, right? We are touched. Sometimes people touch us. So we, we are willing to cultivate. We are willing to uphold the Tao spirits. How much Tao energy must they accumulate before they have strength, see? To have enough strength to face all the challenge and difficulty to continue to cultivate and propagate the Tao. We need to have accumulate a lot of Tao energy there before we can be here today. Next question is, what did teacher ask us? Is it harder to be a junior or senior? Is it easier for a male to cultivate or female to cultivate? Which one do you think? I think that to be harder to be a junior or senior, it depends on individual, okay? To cultivate, okay? But sometimes uh, junior is taught to learn from his senior. But however, senior is also a lot of challenges as people understand their Ability to help us. Are they will, can senior help us or maybe tell us the problem we have? Are we this willing to listen when senior taught us that? Sometimes senior is very hard to do too. Okay. Is it easy to be a male or female to call them? Which one? Yeah. Basically, okay. I'm just in, in general. Today, all the saints and Buddha are reborn. They want to be a female people. All the saints and Buddha. Most of the saints and Buddha are reborn today. They want to be a female to cultivate. Do you know why? Because gentlemen, uh, males, go outside on the job. A lot of the time they had to go to social, do, do the social. They might drink the wine. They might do other things. So might create a karma for themselves. Gentlemen is easy to create karma in these situations. So other saints and Buddha, they want to reborn. They want to become female cultivators. They don't want to become, become male cultivators. So that's interesting. Okay. So a lot of the, that's why when you go to temple today, when you go to temple today, majority of the temple had more females than males. Majority of temples, most of the temples had more male, females than males today. Interesting, right? So we're going to stop here. Uh, at page 19, we can continue next time. So, and, and I would like to thank mercy of God, great virtue of holy teachers, kindness of transmitter, lectures, some members, and all of you. If I say something improperly, please give me advices. Thank you, everyone.